Hi everyone, so today I wanted to get on here and film a video talking about non-candy Easter gift ideas for kids. Um, and I want to start off by saying I got my ring light to work, like the light part, but I broke the light, the legs off the bottom, so it's just kind of leaning against an easel right now, and I realize it's a little crooked and wonky and everything, but we're going with it. Hopefully it, it will get better. So, um, for me, I like to buy mostly non-candy Easter present, um, Easter presents because one, I'm not the only person that buys Easter presents for my kid, and two, you know, it's not the healthiest option. So for baskets, I like to reuse baskets from year to year, or I don't use the basket sometimes, and for that, I'll insert this picture um, where I used a backpack. Um, here it is, it's super cute, it's got wings, it says um, Space Ranger on the little, straps there it's really cute so for last easter my theme was like we're going to easter but unfortunately thanks to covid we didn't get to go but um these are still things that we can use when we do get to go to disney um and i do like doing themed easter baskets this year i kind of I kind of didn't because um, I wanted to get this scrapbook and do like an adventure theme because hopefully this summer we're going to do a lot more adventures than we did last summer but um, I couldn't really find anything to go with that theme so you know we're I'm gonna see about it I still have a little bit of time but obviously I wanted to put this video up before Easter um, and then another year I did this one where I did um, a Rugrats theme one and it's really cute because the um, Reptar stuffed animal is actually a backpack so we can like carry it around and stuff we really like to do that um, and I still have that Easter basket in the picture and I'll probably be using it again this year so um, I have a whole mountain of ideas over here and we're just gonna hop on into it okay so um the first idea would be stuffed animals and i got this stitch from target i can't really remember how much he was i'm pretty sure he was about 15 or 16 dollars if i'm not mistaken super cute stitch is one of my favorites um and then here's a build a bear pokemon i think he we got him with a little shirt or something like that but you know it's fine he's cute no matter what <laughs> And going along with the snuggly cozy theme, we have a blanket. We love, love, love blankets. We can never get enough blankets. So this is always a good gift idea for our house. And the next idea would be books. We have so many books. And this one is actually, um, I think a four part book. So we've got Juno B. Jones, Magic Tree House, Permaids, and A to Z Mysteries. And it's like a chapter book. Um, another idea would be blankets, and I got this cute one from Target. Um, it's just blue and white striped. It has a little red anchor on the side. I wanted to find a rash guard to go with it, but I couldn't find one to match. Um, and I'm also still in the process of looking for like candles and sunglasses because um, those are all things that kids need every single summer. They always outgrow the old ones, or like with the sunglasses, they always end up scratched and dirty and everything and I like to put them in a giant egg because this is what my mom did when I was little and um, so this year I think I'm gonna carry on that tradition another idea would be pajamas we love pajamas especially you know this year because we live in them and, okay so this one is just a freaky one and it says get me out of here and then the bottoms have uh, just little freakies all over them and then this one is a Spider-Man one with um, spy upside down Spider-Mans all over at the bottoms. These ones are actually pants. The other ones were shorts, but I got them both from the Disney store. We love the Disney store. Closest Disney store does is like an hour away, but I would love there if I could. Um, and I'm pretty sure they were on sale like maybe two for 16 or something like that. Um, ours is at an outlet mall, so we usually get pretty good prices like that, but you could also get them online, I believe. 
another idea would be bubbles and I got this from I think it was a Target dollar section yeah it's just a dollar but um and it has little sharks and beach balls and octopi on it super cute you can't go wrong with bubbles everyone loves bubbles um another thing would be like play-doh and things like that this is actually so cute i can't wait to open it and see what's inside but this is just a little peeps and it has um one dough pack and then one peeps cutter in it so i thought that was cute and i couldn't resist it um so i do still buy some candy um like i said this was just so cute i couldn't resist this is a little baby yoda cup um and it says wait for me on the front and then the back it has like the back of baby yoda and it just says nom nom and then there is like those little rainbow spiral lollipops in there and that's just i don't know i love it it's so cute um another idea and this is probably gonna sound weird but it's drinks because um my kid is obsessed obsessed with drinks i don't i don't really understand it's obsessed with seeing hydrate and stuff like that and for some reason they're just really like to flip it over and read the um, nutrition facts and find how much sugar is in them and stuff like that and they're like oh this has too much sugar in it i don't know i guess i'm maybe rubbing off i don't know <laughs> but this one is the creative roots coconut water and it's the flavor watermelon lemonade i'm telling you guys even if you don't have kids like this stuff is amazing i highly recommend it, it tastes so good and then this one is just the Zevia Kids, and there's little mini Mouse on there. I think there's different uh, Disney characters on there. And this one is the Strawberry Lemonade. And again, this is amazing. I love it. This is just um, carbonated water, you know, zero of everything on it. It's really good. Not bad for you. So another idea would be art supplies and here I have um, just a little sketch well a big sketchbook and then a bunch of crayons and this one actually came with a crayon um, sharpener and everything and I just you know this is really great because when you have a little box of crayons and you just can't find the right color you know what I mean so this one has tons of them um, and I really really like the uh, Crayola Twistables uh, color pencils I love those um, so you can get markers, paints, you know, we have everything, but we just have way too much <laughs> to bring here. So I think this is like the smallest things that we have. And I almost forgot these little canvases that I found at Target for 94 cents. This is great. We love, love, love to paint and things like that. I'm not that great at it, but you know, it's calming and I like to do it anyways. So, you know, I do it anyway. <laughs> So art supplies is a really great idea to put in an Easter basket. So another idea would be a game and this is the Catan Junior and it's rated ages six and up and Catan has a bunch of different um, expansion packs and stuff like that for the games for the older kids. Um, I don't know if it would work with us or not, but I don't know. We really like this game. We had a lot of fun with it. You can also get like a science kit um, and we are science nerds in this house we really love science so we have a lot of science kits laying around and this one is a build your own volcano and it is STEM so um, we might do this today actually because we've been waiting for a pretty day and today is a pretty day so we, I might you know get outside after this video and make a volcano that sounds pretty fun right Another thing that we really like is crafts, and I got this um, at the in the Michael's Easter section. I believe it was under two dollars. I can't really remember. Um, obviously, since it was Easter, we did a little earlier than Easter. But here we go, and we had you know stickers and markers and little eyes and things. Um, I believe this is everything that came in the pack that's on here. Um, yeah, it's super cute, and we love doing these little crafty things. Also, I got a little etch-a-sketch here. Um, I wanted to fit it in with the adventure theme, but I don't know. 
I just don't know. Um, then I thought this one would be good to do like on the way to the zoo or something over the summer. And it was probably just a dollar. Yeah, it was just a dollar at Target in the dollar section. <laughs> And if you still want to get some treats, but not necessarily candy, um, we really, really like these Smart Sweets. Um, they have three grams of sugar in them, and uh, these ones are the Sour Blast Buddies. And then we also like the Peach Rings. We like the regular gummy bears too, but they didn't have those at my store, so. And then also the Annie's Easter Gummies. Um, and these ones are the strawberry lemonade and watermelon flavor. I love these. These are just, like the best gummies. And um, they're pretty expensive, so I usually just buy them as little treats here and there. Um, but they're so good and they're seriously the freshest gummies ever. So if you were still, still struggling to... Um, get an idea for what to get your kid for Easter. Um, I highly recommend these Kiwi Crate boxes and you can buy a um, subscription for it. So this one was the treasure hunt one and in it we got to build a little treasure chest and it came with a lock and key but of course you know I don't know where the lock is. And then we made these little coins, these little gold coins, which is, are really cute. So we had a treasure and then um, you can make a treasure map and, and find the treasure. And we've had a bunch of different crates, like we made a claw arm and a sweeper vacuum thing. And that one was really cool. I like that one. Um, and then we experimented with like salt and watercolor and things like that. And I don't know. It's really good. I highly recommend it. Um... So yeah, I think that covers everything, and um, I'll try to link what I can down below if I can find it. Um, I hope this video helps you. Please like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye! But this is like a bit be little baby yoga 